Hi there, so in this video we are going to discuss how to make use of notebooks in Mathematica. Now when you open Mathematica for second or third instance and close the splash screen, you will find dialog box similar to this. Now here you get to create new notebook, also open existing notebook or simply quit. Okay, you also have top menu bar here, here you can create a new notebook, slideshow, template, testing notebooks, demonstration, style notebook, and text file and package. Now, what I'm gonna do here is simply create new notebook. So there are two ways. First is clicking this button and opening notebook window. Another is going through your file menu, then new, and then new notebook. You can also use Ctrl N as your shortcut i'm going to go through this file menu option and this creates notebook window for me okay now here you see the notebook is blank and it is not saved at all okay so it will show you this untitled one two three whatever the numbering may be with untitled as its name if you want to save your notebook simply go to file menu then click on save and this should open dialog box and it takes you to default folder where you can have this whole from Mathematica notebook stored with extension whole from notebook dot nb so any name that you choose here let's say example okay Will be stored with extension dot you can click on save and it will change the name at the top bar similarly you can save your notebook as different extension okay you have plenty of extension types here such as compatible document which is CDF which is perfect for Wolfram demonstration then you have language pack which is something you can create and then Mathematica package which will have .m extension unlike WL which is Wolfram language package okay these two we will take a look at in further ahead of the course okay now third is this option of plain text okay so typical text can be created here and then you have latex document type with dot text then you have postscript document which can be converted into a pdf or uh, other ebook types as well then you have pdf document you can create your notebook directly into a pdf file and use for printer then you have rtf which you can read through your office programs then HTML and XML okay so think of these in terms of groups so these one two three four are in one group second group is your text files and latex and third is your printing documents and finally web related documents in HTML and XML so these are the type of extension you can save your notebook into Okay, alternatively, you can also print your notebook right from here. Here you can see, you can choose the type of printer you want. Here I have mostly the PDF printers like Nitro, XPS and Foxit. These are the printer I can use to convert my notebook into a PDF file. Okay, you can use that to print your notebook directly on your print and from here you can have it for your documentation okay so what we have seen so far is how to create a notebook how to save your notebook how to save your notebook in different type of extension you also have this Wolfram cloud save option I'm not sub subscribed to it so I can't show you that okay and finally the print option okay 
now you know how to work around your notebook you can also take a look at my another video where i have showed you how to execute command inside your notebook okay so this was a short demonstration on how to use mathematica notebooks for saving and printing purpose